The brain is the coolest organ, but it is not very smart most of the time. And the brain only has two ways of solving this problem. That is, it either decreases dopamine, which is what drops us down so low, or it kills off, and kill is a very strong word because they do regenerate, but it, uh, let's say reduce, it reduces dopamine receptors. So places in the brain that, that are open to um, causing these levels to increase back to where they should be, back to that baseline. Either change generally results in the substance having less of an effect due to a weaker response, right? So now we've got a brain that is weaker in its response because these receptors have been hindered. So it's already not as sensitive. That's what that means by weaker in its response. It's not as sensitive to the drug. The drug that's a thousand percent below baseline. The drug that we now have to take more of just to get to baseline. And then, oh, at baseline we're still not high, so now we've got to take a thousand percent more. And then the brain isn't um, as sensitive to it, so now it's even more that we have to take. And that's how we build habit. And that's, I keep using drug because I think for a lot of us, drug is an easier um, topic maybe to think because it's a little bit more concrete. This is addiction. This is pornography. This is sex. This is devices. This is gaming. This is food. To the brain, addiction is addiction is addiction is addiction. There's no way around that. Now, granted, some substances affect the brain differently. That's for sure. But to the brain and the way it processes, addiction is addiction. 